E. How is it going? Everyone, welcome to more Toho 19 and potentially the <laughs> the last stream of this game, considering there is only two story modes remaining, which are Suica and Sanmu's uh, story mode. Sanmu obviously unlocks at last, though the surprise is that Suica unlocks at second to last. I don't know why is that. I'm assuming he's important to the story or something. Not like I would understand the story anyways, but you know. We start with Mamisu, huh? These two are very prominent in the Lotus Eaters manga. Oh, even with this song, I'm gonna increase the volume. We're gonna be hearing these songs. Okay, so Suika's gimmick is that she uses the, the shackles as additional shots. And I think the scope, yeah, the scope also extends to that. Eh, I mean, as long as the damage is good, which I don't know, it doesn't seem very good so far. I mean, all of these three things are shooting at the fairies and they are not dying. So yeah, I, I have my doubts. I have my, my slide out. Well, the problem is that you cannot really set these things in place. In the sense that it, it's not like, like Marisa A, I think, of Mountain of A, that you could stop those things. Well, actually, I don't remember if that was the case. It's been some time. But there was a shot type that was very similar to this, and when you focus, these things will stay still. Actually, I don't remember if it was Marisa A. Yeah, I think it was Marisa A in Mountain of Fate that had the same shot type, but when you focus, the, the things that follow you will stay still. Hey Draino, how is it going? About to... well, about to... <laughs> I'm gonna finish the game today. I don't know if about to... It will depend on the difficulty of these two story modes. I don't expect them to be something extremely hard, though. The one that has potential to be hard is a uh, San Musa story mode. Okay, I need to waste the bomb here. There you go. Been avoiding it mostly so I can go in blind. Oh, you mean in this game? Didn't know that you were interested in, in trying uh, new Toho games. But yeah, I mean, at least you won't understand the story regardless. Well, unless you, you tell me you know Japanese. But I don't think you do. But yeah, you always have. <laughs> Pretty nice. Very cool. But yeah, well, I guess the biggest surprises here are the characters that appear. Like, if you already seen the characters, I don't think there's much you can see as a surprise. Because, I mean, sure, you can see the character orders in the story mode, I don't think that's particularly surprising. And surprisingly, this is the fourth day that the game has been out and the dialogues still have not been translated. I know that translation was never super fast, but... I think that there were some cases where translation was done within three days. Uh, I don't remember if that was the case, because it's been a while. But it might have been. I don't know. 
But yeah, so far the translations, there are only like two or three full story modes translated and everything else is pretty much untranslated. Even the achievements are untranslated. So that's a problem because, I mean, the idea is after I'm done with the story modes now, I will try going for the achievements that I still don't have. But I mean, I, I cannot read Japanese. So hopefully there is some katakana in the in the achievement so I can actually read a little. So I can more or less understand what the achievements are asking me to do. But I don't know. Anything is possible. I will be surprised if there is a no bomb achievement. The good thing is that it should be easy to to spot. And it also should be easy to execute, just pick Raymo and that's it. That's all you need. Alright. Why are we beating the protagonist? Well, Mamisu is not the protagonist, but... Uh, Marisan Sanai? Maybe the next one is gonna be Raymo. Why are we beating them up? Too much protagonism? Maybe? <laughs> oh, something that I really hope there isn't is... An achievement that needs you to win a game online. That will be fucked up. Not because I cannot do it, but because the online is so trash that I will be lucky if I could even play a game. Let alone finish it. So if the online work properly, the only thing you will need to worry about is winning. In which case, you just need to... You should, you, you just either need to pick Enoko, which is the wolf girl, or Chu, the Chupacabra, which I always forget the name of. I just can't remember the name of that character. Just too hard to remember. And I even remember the name of Enoko, which is a character I don't really care about. But yeah, the them uh, Chupacabra girl I don't remember. It's a name that... I just cannot memorize. Well, I also don't remember the name of the Grape Girl. Like, well, I mean, it's a good statistic though, right? 3 out of 5. Remember Sanmu, uh, Son Beaten, and... and Enoko. I will say that's a good statistic. Will be worse. Lots of fast bullets here. It also seems like Suika's bomb because there are three scopes and you can concentrate them all in one spot. Just like Enoko's bomb seems like it deals a lot of damage. And with that being the case, if the boss is... If the final boss is uh, Sanmu, I can do this very easily. Okay, so we are gonna beat up Raymonet, so I was right. And if I had to give a wild guess, stage 5 is gonna be Grape Girl and stage 6 is gonna be Sun Moon. That will be way too obvious, but... Seems like the most safe bet. Well, the problem is that if this is story mode and the next one are easy, 
I should have done them yesterday. But at the same time, yesterday I also slept very well, so... I don't think that I can underestimate the power of finishing the stream early. Sleeping well is always nice. It's always so nice. Yeah, maybe I will also need the... I will also need time for Sanmu's story. If Reimu is the final boss of that story, it might take a while. And I also might need time for the remaining achievements. Though it depends on how stupid they are. If they are about playtime or something like that, I'm not interested. But if they are challenges, that would be cool. Or something that you can do quickly. Oh yeah. I still haven't looked at the achievements. Like, I'm waiting until I'm done with the story modes to... to actually check the remaining ones. Mostly to make sure that I check only the ones I... I don't have. Instead of unnecessarily checking like the story ones that I will eventually have. This should kill her. Yeah, this bomb deals a lot of damage. It seems that Suika is another one of those strong uh, characters, right? Most likely is. Going against Grape Lady or what? Most likely. You are so predictable soon. Unbelievable. Extremely uh, predictable. Hey, Colo, how is it going? Have you already downloaded the 32 gigabytes of Genshin update? <laughs> you know, we, we have a new area and everything. I gotta say that the area itself looks pretty good so far. No way you are doing that. Hey, come on, bro. It's only 32 gigabytes. Well, 32 gigabytes once it's done. Because in order to install it, you need 64. So otherwise, it wouldn't be able to, you know, unzip the resources, right? Uh. It's alright, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny in a, in a tragic way. I got hit. I got hit. I should have bombed, but then again, if I bomb this early... I think I will have enough for later. But I don't know how long this fight is gonna take. I, like, like maybe this is gonna be the last spell guard. And if it is, I definitely could have bombed without any issues. Yeah, it is the last one. 
Yeah, I guess I got hit for nothing. Ah, uh, but that's whatever. Genshin can suck my 32 gigabytes of VIG. They will have to unzip that. <laughs> Alright. Seems like... Seems like, um... A, a good plan for Mr. Genshin. Alright. So, say no more. We're gonna fight Sanmu, aren't we? Say no more, game. Well, e even Sweet Guy is mentioning her. And you got it a little bit too predictable, Mr. Soon. I don't even understand the dialogue and you're still predictable. <laughs> I bought the fact that we're beating up the protagonist and then the... These two characters. You got in predictable. Also, when you focus, I noticed that when you focus and move, that Suika's shackles get closer to her. It's not like it doesn't do anything, but it doesn't make them stay put, which I think will be a more preferable outcome. The question is how hard this is gonna be with Suika, because, see, the thing is that if I reach the, the final spell card with bombs, like, that's it, like, I win. But that's the problem, will I be able to reach the final spell card with bombs? I don't know. I already have to waste one here, I guess not. And again, I mean, being able to one going clear is pretty nice and all of that. But I mean, I already did it. I don't really care that much. It would be nice to do it with a character that actually fights a uh, sun. Because I think that so far, the, the only two one coin clears I got, the first one was while fighting Saki, and the second one was fighting Suika, actually. So yeah, I guess it will be nice, but I mean, it's whatever. no idea what hit me the first time. I guess the second time was quite obvious, but I don't know about the second time. Oh, and I don't know why I didn't get hit there. Not complaining though. close. Alright, that went well. So now having two bombs for the final spell card will be pretty fine. It really should be. Assuming you actually deal good damage yet. <laughs> These bombs deal a lot of damage. Holy shit. Alright. So, well, there you have it. You wanted a one coin clear with Sanmu as the final boss. There it is. 
Well, that was pretty fast. If I had knew it, it was gonna be that fast, I would have done it yesterday. Though I still don't know about Sanmu's story. Sanmu's story might still take a while. But, well, that depends on how shit Sanmu is. She didn't seem that bad, I guess. Alright, whatever. But yeah, I guess the last one is coming up. And what's gonna happen, I don't know. But yeah, the, the final boss is most likely gonna be Raymus, just like in Toho 9. Let's see. So final story mode, Miss Sun Moon. See what she has to oh oh, oh we already start in the middle of hell, huh? Yeah, we're already fighting our subordinate right away. Her name is Hisami. So oh, interestingly, the, the shot type looks strong, but whether it, it is strong is a different story. Though Sanmu has a particular gimmick on her level 2, I think she turns all the enemies in the screen into spirits. Let's see if that's the case. Okay, it will be useful if there were enemies in the screen. Yeah, it does. And then you can just kill them very fast. I was gonna say, and that way you can probably get a lot of score. Except that, no, you, you don't get score, because there is no score. So I wonder, because I think that this game maintains some... Some logic from the previous Phantasmagoria games. Like, having a long combo, sending an automatic attack to your opponent. But in the previous games, that was decided thanks to the score. But since this game has no score, how is it decided? Maybe the hit counter on the combo? I mean, I, I can't see what else it would be. Really, I go to hit there. Right. Oh shit, I didn't realize how fast she is when she's not focusing. Holy damn. Like, she's very fast when not, when not focusing and very slow when focusing. Which is what you want. That's the perfect combination. Oh, she, she's uh, being sorry for something. I don't know. Seems that we might have a, a complicated relationship with our underling. Here comes Saki. fight the three Yakuza bosses, then Suika and then Reimu. That's my prediction. The three Yakuza bosses, Suika and Reimu. If that ends up being the case, you really need to become more unpredictable soon. Then again, maybe the dialogue itself says that she's gonna do that. But still.
Well, as long as uh, Miss Chupagaura is not in this story mode, there shouldn't be any issue. Spirit Lantern, how is it going? I don't know about run. What about run? Did I mention run? Or oh, you mean that you don't know if we fight run? I don't think Run was a big issue to fight. I, I mean, I think that if we're talking about annoying characters to fight against, I think that Odin is more annoying to fight. Probably. So is it gonna be Yachi and then Yuma? Is that gonna be the order? No, maybe Yuma's gonna be first. Huh? Yuma is actually first. Alright. Yuma actually decides to show up first. Yeah, fight the Yakuza and then you fight Raymu. <laughs> yeah, that's what I expected. I mean, it's very predictable. A lot of these stories are very predictable. Well, I don't mean the story itself, because I cannot understand what's going on, but... I mean the, the characters you fight. For the most part, they follow a very easy to understand pattern. Hey, it's okay. Even if it's hard, I'm always ready. Always. <clears throat> so yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Besides, part of the reason why I left these two characters for today instead of doing them yesterday is that I expected a San Mus story to be hard. So, yeah. Kazuika story was extremely easy, and that's because her bomb is super strong. Kazuika yeah, story was very, very easy. One of those three one coin clears. Just like that. It doesn't seem, judging by the scope of this uh, character, I don't think the bomb is going to be as damaging as Swigun. Always go lava at, at 7 p.m. No, in my time zone is 8 p.m. In my time zone it's uh, 20. I don't know in yours, but yeah, in my time zone is particularly 8 p.m. every single time I I start a stream, and I usually end it three hours later at 11 p.m. Sometimes I go for longer, depends on what I'm playing, but yeah, that, that tends to be the hours that I'm active. That is correct.
Alright. So now on to Yachian. What do you have to offer Yachian? I wonder. Saki and Yachi's theme are always pretty nice to listen to. One of these days I should replay Toho 17. Problem is that it's a game that is... I mean, it's not like it's super hard to one going clear, but it really depends on which character you pick. Well, just like many Toho games, it's an extremely unbalanced uh, game. Uh, so you have characters that trivialize the game, like Raymu Otter or Yomu Wolf, and then you have characters that are so shit that you wonder what's their purpose. Like Ray, uh, like Yomu Eagle, for example. For you, it's 7 p.m. I will say that's a, a very good time. I mean, for most people, <laughs> the they catch the stream when they like in the morning, like in the early morning. Usually, people from Europe, right? But yeah. You are from anywhere in the Americas, uh, it most likely will be a time that will, uh, you know, that will be similar to mine. Okay, unfortunately, Europe and, well, specifically Europe doesn't have it very easy. Because Asia has, like, the, well, obviously depends on which Asian country, but. Uh, usually, it will be very early morning for them. So that also depends if they wake up early or not. Yeah, I wasn't talking about this game, even though, yes, this game is extremely unbalanced. But no, I was talking about Toho 17. <laughs> But yeah, this game, needless to say, is uh, probably one of the most unbalanced ones there is. But, you know, I was uh, talking about 17. You're in East Coast? Got it. I probably shouldn't have wasted the bombs like that, but at least this spell guard is easy. Oh, that's not the last one. <laughs> Oops. Well, that might be a problem. Yeah, East Coast is basically the only place in the USA that I think has a, uh, a time zone that is earlier than than mine. Because if you look at Argentina and you look at the USA in the map, I think that the only place that is uh, more to the east is uh, well, the East Coast. <laughs> Everything else in the USA is either exactly, well, exactly, very close to being in the same uh, longitude or to the left, or to the west, <laughs> to, to be more precise. This 
gonna go to a timeout, isn't it? It will. Can it? Uh. All right. So, am I gonna be right about Suica being stage five? I wonder. You are so predictable. You are so predictable soon that it's not even funny. And uh, like, come on, Sun Muak surprise us if this was a surprise. Unbelievable. And yeah, of course the last one is gonna be Raymu. Ah, oh, man. Very, very predictable. Unbelievably predictable. Alright, whatever. But yeah, I gotta be uh, at least thankful that Miss uh, Chupacabra didn't show up. That's what matters the most. As long as that character doesn't show up, it should be fine. That character... Man. That character is something else. So you know that... Speaking of the music of this game, you know that I say that I really don't like the final boss theme. I feel like this one is even worse. This one that is playing right now. Like a song that doesn't evoke any emotion from me, that it's just there. You know, <laughs> it's like. It's a song, yeah, that is correct. But that's about it. You're still not dead, are you kidding me? That might be bad. Ah, damn it. Come on, can you go down? There you go. I don't know how I dodged that arrow head that was sweeping across the screen. I have my doubts. Got him. That was surprisingly a lot of damage at the end. Sanmu is a big shot on Hell and she and Suika known each other for a long time. And I didn't know that, but I will assume that it's predictable considering, considering that they are two Onis. So apparently Sanmu is a half Oni. For some reason. Apparently being a full Oni was too mainstream, you know. Alright, so now we're back to hell. I guess Reimu came uh, looking for a fight. Just call Reimu Honore. Come on, this is a family friendly game. Unbelievable. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know it's supposed to be Suica's theme. That's what makes it even more disappointing, you know. You know, I I know it's just, like that's the thing. Suica's theme. Like compare that with uh, like any of her other two themes, like uh, you know. For, like on his island in the fairyland or broken moon compare it to any of those two and you are like them <laughs> what a downgrade right it really is because you know that it's not even the fact that it has a different tone Yes, I mean, those two themes that I mentioned already have two completely different tones. But it's just that it's the most dual thing that he could come up with. You know, it's it really is. And then this song, I just don't like it. Not for being dual precisely, but... Yeah, hey, I just don't like this song. I feel like there are many things to criticize about this game but when it comes to me personally one of the most disappointing things for me is the final boss theme something that I always look forward to in any Toho game and in this game I, I just don't like it Yeah, Reimu wants to finish me off. I, it, it, it's what she usually does. She's a very uh, violent person. Very... You know, very mean. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, the real issue is... Well, this attempt is most likely not gonna go anywhere, but it's gonna be at least useful to learn what her patterns are. That's what matters the most. the vocals in this song see that's the problem I can't even tell if these are supposed to be vocals or not it might be just a very badly tuned erhu the erhu is a Chinese instrument uh, which is kind of like a violin I don't think that it's a like at first I thought it was a woman screaming, but I, I, on second listen it seems more like it's just a very shitty Erhu. You know? It's not like Erhus are bad, it's just that this one is played badly, to me at least. Okay, I'm dead. Hey, I don't think I did that badly considering the the lives I had remaining. Let's try that again. Real quick. That was her final spell card. The one that I died to. Because if that's her final spell card, this is not gonna be very hard to do at all. But if she has another one, it will depend on how it is. We will see.
I shouldn't waste bombs on spell cards like this. That's a mistake. That's a, a very big mistake. Ah, you almost charged the level 3. Almost. But not quite. That means that it's very hard to charge anything. There is just so much bullshit to deal with. Some of those spreads are very, very hard to dodge. Oh, that's gonna be lovely. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely lovely. Beautiful, even. I don't even get the time to charge the level 3. Well, that was the last attack. Well, that wasn't that hard. I mean, as long as you use bombs, I guess. So how many achievements did I get? Oh, only one? Alright. In that case, I really have to check the, the other achievements. Alright. Really hope that they are not that hard. That will be a problem. Uh, well, or not too annoying, but we will see. Well, I guess at the same time, if I did this yesterday, I would have probably went to sleep very, very late. So, probably not the greatest idea. I didn't get an extra attack. I don't know. Uh, was there supposed to be an extra attack? I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I mean, I don't know. It, it seems like that was the end. And the ending didn't seem like the bad ending. I mean, it saved ending number 19, which is <laughs> the, indeed the right number, so... I don't know if I missed something, but it didn't seem like there was anything else. So I guess uh, she she for the story mode, because I don't think there's anything else, right? Well, the game didn't say that I unlock anything else, so that is it for story mode. 